How's it going boys, TKC here. These are stream highlights from our weekly streams that we do where we listen to brand new music every week. So if you're watching this and you appreciate what you see, I would love to see you in the chat sometime. But in the meantime, enjoy the video. Peace. We've got Dabin, William Black, James Droll. Little collaboration here between Dabin and William Black. Dabin has been on absolute fucking fire this year. Um, probably my favorite artist at the moment. Um, Worlds Away was a 10. Hollow's almost a 10. Um, Between Broken has grown on me exponentially throughout this year. Um, Davin's sound is really becoming my thing. And um, yeah, I don't know. Davin's, Davin's just doing his thing. Davin's doing his thing and I'm loving it. So Interested to see. I've seen some conflicting takes on this one. A lot of people saying it's amazing. Some people saying it's not really what they thought it was going to be. Um, some people saying it's different. That sounds right up my alley. Want to see some different stuff, especially from William Black. William Black can tend to do some samey stuff at times. Um, but when he switches it up, it tends to be really good. Need You Now is an example of that. So anyways, yeah. Dab and William Black. Let's get into it. Sorry that you hate it took a hold. It sounds like a housey you thing. Why I'm here. So I'm tease you, you can hear the down in the back there. One last goodbye and I'm going home. I told you I'm tired and I gotta let go. It's a nice melody. Nice percussion. I want to see what this drop is. I don't know. Okay. Huge sound. Heavily dislike that poppy drum pattern, man. I really hate that drum pattern. Every time it's used, I don't like it. But the sound is full, it's huge. So that's that's a that's a that's a bonus. It's a nice vocal too. I just I, give me a halftime or something. Or or a housey beat too. I don't like the boot ta 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 sort of thing. Nice strip in the elements. Give me a halftime kick snare. Give me house or give me halftime. That's how you can redeem the track for me. Come on. Come on, man. There you go. There, that see that has some impact behind it, man. The snare has punched. All right, I mean, I'm going to be honest. Um, for how high my expectations for Davin are right now, that is very, very disappointing. That is very, 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 very disappointing. Because, like, for me right now, Davin is, like, 9.5 plus or bust. Because I he's on a, he was on a roll, man. Hollow and fucking Worlds. Like, he just released one of the best songs in years. I don't know, man. I think that's that's just I've I've always had a big problem with that drum pattern. To me, the big thing that makes melodic bass so special, and especially just bass music in general, is the emphasis on the snare when it comes to those drops. And when it has that like super poppy drum pattern, I can just never really get into it that much. Um, and it's not like I was expecting. I didn't want like a super super 
massive sound or anything like that. But I mean, this and the sound was massive. The sound was pretty big. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't like that drum pattern, dude. The drum pattern to me kind of threw off the whole song. I think it would have been really nice to go with a housey, more of a housey style one, then go into the halftime, and then maybe in the second half of the halftime one, then go with that popular style one. I feel like structurally that seems like a more engaging idea. Drum pattern is the big one that's throwing that off for me. I really like everything else about it though. Um, the, the, the percussion was really nice. Like the, the actual percussion itself was nice. I just don't like the drum pattern. Um, but the, the, the sound was super full. Vocals were really nice. The, the verse production had its flavor in there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, again, I, I, I like it, but it's just to me very, very disappointing for Davin, especially knowing what Davin can do. I think it's the second time that the, the second time Davin and William Black have done a collab and it's like not necessarily my favorite thing in the world that they've done. Ready wasn't like my favorite Davin song in the world either. Um, see, I don't know if it'll grow on me. That's the thing. I've, I've always been very against that drum pattern. I don't think that drum pattern works in melodic bass. So, I mean, I hope it grows on me, but yeah, I don't know. That's, that kind of sucks for me. Cause again, Davin is probably my favorite artist right now. And like, to me, there's so much potential behind that sound and to have it kind of fall apart it, because of a drum pattern decision kind of sucks. Um, yeah, I'd probably give that like a 7.75. Uh, yeah, I think I I saw Oscar say a 7.75. 7.75 seems fair to me. Yeah, I don't know. That's just how I'm kind of feeling. Um, again, and, and then when that halftime idea came in in the second half of the second drop, it was so engaging, dude. It was really engaging. There was so much potential with that idea, in my opinion. And I think it just kind of fell flat. I mean, honestly, it didn't really fall flat per se. I just think that when it came to what my expectations are, yeah, it's just kind of disappointing in terms of what my expectations are for dabbing and, and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, I'll let you guys get your votes in. Yeah, it's going to get a good from chat. I'd say that's pretty unanimous. Yeah, I think I'd agree too. To me, it just feels like a good track. But yeah, would have wanted a little bit more from that. I'm not going to lie. Halftime, house, it felt like 128-ish. 